Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here today. Finally, I guess yesterday, Man the Guns DLC has finally dropped, and I know I'm not the first one to bring this up. I'm definitely not going to be the last, but, but last one, but man, look at this guy. God, I wish I was as muscular as he was. And these helmets, ugh, oh, so good. Anyways, it's finally out, and as the title suggests of this video, we are going to play as someone somewhat familiar, but also updated and better. So, I'm going to play as the United States. I'm not going to try anything really extreme here. I'm not going to try to form the Confederate States of America just yet. I'm not going to try to become communist or fascist or anything like that. We're going to play a democratic United States because, for one, you can't really lose it as the United States. Two, uh, they have a, a redone focus tree, so that was part of the DLC. And three, I don't know how the naval metal works anymore. So with those three combinations all in store for us, we are going to choose the United States. We have a brief history led by FDR right now, where democratic regime... Wasn't that always the case? Any democracy is a regime, if you know what, if you know what I mean. Uh, we're not going to do anything custom game rules. We could strengthen other nations, foreign policy, war goals limited. This is just basically all the default stuff. Um, covet actions, actually... And I do want to explore ex governments in exile, maybe take over the faction as the United States. Things like that. Leave faction, kick from faction, uh, things like that. Throw something else. Coups, the free gameplay rules, pair drops are allowed, max support level. AI be oh, AI behavior. So we can go with, they want them to become fascist. Democratic, does not allow achievements. Constitutional monarchy, is for the Kaiser, interesting. But we're just going to go with our normal tried and true World War II, I didn't mean for that to rhyme, uh, that, yeah, allows for a lot of interesting stuff, but we're gonna, like I said, do a normal World War II, no boss, no nothing, regular difficulty, not Iron Man mode, because the saves might get corrupted, I love how this country's glowing now, ah, a glowing United States, isn't that the best thing you've ever heard of, a glowing United States, anyways, uh, oh my god, elite difficulty, no, uh, but, also, one of the reasons why I'm playing in the United States is because, you know, nothing goes better with the United States than oil. And the United States is one of the few countries that has so much oil that it needs more oil. So, that's why we're going to do it. And I don't know how the naval metal really works. So, we're back in the United States. Uh, some of the mods I have include that actually work are colored events, not colored buttons. So, that's why these are all right here right now. We do thankfully have Flutter Led Peace Conference is still working for us. As well as something else. State transfer tool mod. Yes, we're up here. So I really don't know the naval meta. So we're just going to go ahead and do what we do know. See, all you guys, you will be garrison island stuff, which we'll, we'll fix up eventually. Uh, let's see, we've got 27 guys here left. Uh, division. It looks like you three actually should probably be down here. Because you're in Alaska, you're in the Philippines, and you're in Hawaii. So those are all remote islands. So we've got a remaining force of 24 boys, and of course we're going to build the wall instantly. A wall out of men and guns. I almost could have done a pun there, but I decided not to. Patton, uh, it's mostly infantry with one horse division, so we'll go with Matt Clark. Under Field Marshal Eisenhower. Oh, they also did buff Offensive Doctrine. Used to be Organization Loss when moving is negative negative 10%, but now it's negative 50% and more attack, so that's actually quite a good reason to get offensive doctrine. Supply consumption better, good planning speed, panzer leader experience, less leader, less experience gain, but MacArthur has the same one, so we might as well go with the white D. Eisenhower. Ike, daddy. Actually, you know what? I don't want Mike Clark to do that. I want you to be over here. Cool. I don't think I'm going to actually try to take out Mexico, but we'll see what happens. I don't really think I will. And you guys, you basically already are the Coast Guard for wherever you are positioned, so... Actually, they should have a guy that's out of supply, not reconnaissance. We're, we have an out of supply type of guy here. Infantry, harsh leader, career, politically connected. Attacking, da -da -da. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alexander Patch. And you know what, I'm already going to go instantly put you under here. We'll just call this Coast Coasts 
plus defense. Something like that. And, of course, lower thing for that. So let's go ahead and choose a focus. So this is the redone American focus tree. So obviously... Ooh, guarantee the American dream. That's cool. Uh, this is quite a bit different. And then, of course, you could reestablish the gold standard and ally with the silver shirt, which we're not going to do, just because I want to learn the meta, kind of, of the game. Look with the Bund, uh, War Powers Act, Global Hegemony. Uh, I like the War Plan Division stuff, because you can get all these different War Plans now, since they've reworked this tree. Uh, what was the German one? Because I remember they used to be called the German Menace, and then they called it eventually to attack the, to attack Germany. They called it the Prussian Menace. Uh, War Plan Great, what is that? That's the Caribbean. Uh, War Plans, Intervention in Europe, War Plan, War Plan Black. Alright, so that makes sense. Yeah, don't, don't attack the Prussians. No, 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 the Prussians are good people. Depends on what time, what what year it is. Anyways, we don't we can't really do very much. Let's go continue the New Deal. We'll get some more political power. Uh, we have fuel silos, which is the first step into actually having resources be a part of the meta for creating stuff, creating factories and stuff like that, making sure that our factories are running well. Honestly, I believe that we should go back to a standard of having. So many resources extracted a day, and then put those resources put into a stockpile, which is the beginning with the fuel silo. So, of course, we're playing in the United States. We're going to build some infrastructure up. Uh, I'm going to save New Jersey for dockyards, because that actually got quite a different rework, and we're just going to build a bunch of other stuff like this. Okay, now go to Iowa. How does Iowa have better roads than Kentucky? I guess Kentucky does have mountains. And then, that's Minnesota, yeah. I know my American geography. Let's see, put you on low, put you on that medium. And these infantry divisions are actually pretty good. They already have support artillery, support engineers, 18 combat width, and go with 12 divisions first. I don't know, we'll put you, I don't know, Norfolk. Let's see, government's in exile. Oh, we have the Philippines as a puppet. Very good. Now, this is the most confusing part for me. I don't know what how to play <laughs> with the naval ships. So that's why we're doing this. Some things, I guess, capital ships, you can only get five per five naval dockyards per ship. And then uh, for the for the screens, you get ten per. So I really don't know how I'm supposed to do this. But I'm just going to go ahead and make whatever we already have available. All I know is that I do want carriers. I want to upgrade whatever ships I have. I want to grind out a bunch of naval XP. And then go, pretty much go from there. Let's go ahead and do some research slots if we already know how to do that. Industry, of course. Production efficiency cap. Construction one. And actually, they did separate this off. So fuel refining. So you can extract more fuel from refineries. Or you can get more fuel per oil and fuel gain from refineries. Pretty good. And engineering, of course. They have redone some of this tech tree stuff because some of these take a little longer than others. For example, mechanical computing is now 193 days, and only gives you a slight research speed bump. Huh, this is interesting. And now you can spend some of your naval doct naval XP on more doctrine stuff, as well as on some upgrades. All I know is that you probably want carriers, really good carriers. Some You definitely want some subs, and at least... A 1936, we pretty much have everything researched. I'm probably actually going to... Mm, I want to ignore battleships, but I don't know if I should or not. Because since that was such the meta... Oh my god, there's so much down here. Mine warfare... Oh god, I was so excited for this, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I totally know what I'm doing. Not really, but you, you get my drift. Uh, let's actually start researching some tanks, because we will want some tanks and explore how tanks will affect the fuel consumption of our country. Uh, we'll go with a standard, honestly, probably, I'll go with 40 with infantry division since we're playing in the United States. We're making some interwar carrier fighters. Let's go ahead and make some interwar carrier naval bombers. But we also need some regular interwar fighters and then some tactical bombers as well, also known as war bombers. Very fine, very, very fine. We're out of oil. We're not sure, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with these ships. But it looks like this, whoever I selected, is an admiral for the... Atlantic Fleet. Honestly, I don't really know. Gentlemanly. Oh, that's terrible. 
I'm going to put you over here. Uh, this is Special Assignments Forces. You are around the Panama Canal. Uh, Alright, I don't want to mess this up. What about this? You are the Philippine Fleet. Alright. And then you are docked in California. I'm not sure why you're docked in California. What about this? Docked in California. Well, you're in Hawaii and you're in California. I want to just combine... I don't know if I should combine everything into one fleet or not. Ooh, the pride of the USS is USS Pennsylvania. Three... Battle Force, Battle Force, Cruiser Division. I really don't know. Battle Force 74. Uh, I'm going to do this. I tried. I played this just for like 10 minutes earlier, looking at the focus trees and stuff like that. I know how to grind XP. Cost, caustic Personality. Well, let's do this. Ernest King, he's level 5, whatever. So we combine them all into one fleet, which probably was a bad idea. But, we're going to go ahead and let you grind out some XP. Actually, no, don't grab any XP yet. I want to see if there's anyone we can upgrade. Upgrade this ship to Yorktown class 1936 carrier hull. So we get better light attack, better light piercing, a little better speed, but uses more fuel. Um, the United States, I don't really care. Uh, you know what? Just refit all the ships. Can you, can you do that? Or oh, actually, you have to probably select all these. So these are early hull destroyers, early destroyer hulls. I swear to God, I'm not dyslexic. I don't have dyslexia. Go ahead and do that. This actually doesn't look very good. But it takes 13 days to complete. That's fine. Go right ahead. Uh, if you can... How do I get him to grind? Oh, it's down here. So you have naval exercises to perform in the adjacent region. Damage ships over time. The crew will not gain experience once they reach the regular level. You'll get Navy XP, and the part of the fleet is less likely to get into accidents. All right. Then we have patrol to the selected region, strike force, which is, which means that the Navy will wait at the closest naval base until an enemy task force is spotted and try to attack them. Okay. Convoy rating, we already know what that does. Convoy escort, we already know what that does. And we have mine laying, we have to be at war for that, as well as mine sweeping. And then we have naval inter invasion support, and support them with shore bombardment. Honestly, I don't know how the fleets here. Like, I'm not sure how to explain. Instead of just having like one main fleet, you have you'll be divided up into several different fleets. But I'm going to use this as my main fleet. Whatever. All right. So it looks like nothing's really changed. We have five percent war support, which makes sense. Ninety percent stability. And the other reason why I wanted to play the United States. Oh, wow, he's got really good fleet coordination skills. Well, besides having so much oil, and we already have five naval XP, wow. All right. Uh, is that we have politics. Now, this is one of the biggest changes to the United States. Congress, being a politician, is a bunch of crap. Okay. So we only have, we have half support of the Senate and basically half the support of the House. Barely half the support. Basically, just like real life today. Now, you can have small lobbying efforts. We'll lose political power, but we'll get some more support. Medium lobbying. Uh, special measures, which is basically the same thing. Ooh, representative criticizes the president. During a recent debate on tax reform, a representative launched into a long-winded speech about the many failings of the administration. According to him, no right-thinking American could possibly want to support the policies of the president, whatever their party affiliation may be. His harsh words seem to have an effect, as a number of representatives previously thought. Firmly behind his policies of FDR made noises of support. And basically, the senators do the same thing. And interviewing a major newspaper, no longer support the foolish and dangerous policies of FDR. <sighs> Somehow I got elected four times. Tell me about that. Ooh. So right now we're only grinding one fleet, really. Oh, and grinding out XP, but some of them are getting refitted. If that comes to my knowledge, they're docked in California. Submarine base force, California, Hawaii, and California. I don't know uh, where. So hmm, I'm definitely going to look into more videos, probably with feedback gaming about the new naval meta. So you could do this and do that. So each one of these smaller fleets will be able to do that. All right, cool. Hold. Uh, go ahead and just 
I, I don't know. I don't think this will be really honestly worth it. Oh, can we actually upgrade this already? Wait, we can get a rear slot one torpedo room or mine mine warfare. Mine. Oh, they could be better at laying mines, but torpedo room. Production cost. Four 21 inch bow TT torpedo tubes. That's level one. Or we get level. Basically the same thing, but with a Mark 1 TDC. Torpedo attack goes up slightly more, but. Uh, can we do that? I kind of like that. It only costs 5 XP. There's no existing ship design, which. Oh, God dang it. Ah, screw it, just do that. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, to be honest. Oh, that was the latest one I created? Oh, no, this was the one I created, I think. So go and do that, go ahead and do that, and go and do that. Very cool. And, and we already have max fuel capacity. Ah, oh, yeah, I love the United States, man. Best, oh my god, what a click on. One of the best countries ever. Yes, I am speaking like an American. We fit in the United States. Wait, seriously, how do we have, we have three in the active region. What about you? So you are docked in California. So this is our other fleet that's a scouting fleet. Alright, very interesting. I'm, I want to say go ahead and upgrade yourselves, but I don't understand why you, oh, converted cool cruiser hull. Uh, module slots, so you can customize these so incredibly well. What does the shield do? Classify your designs or organize them and allow for more. Oh, these are for like defense. Oh, that's crabs. Whoa. Ships using this design will be screen ships. All right. Uh, we don't have. Oh, we actually do have a little bit of radar sub detection. Oh, that would be actually very good if we can do that. We upgraded it, and I guess design is over max allowed cost for this. Class. Oh, God dang it. Uh, sure. So, all right. Go ahead and upgrade all early hull destroyers. Well, at least get best level of destroyers possible, I suppose. I'm not really sure. You know what, I'm gonna say, uh, don't want to say this, but I just want to, like, shove them all together. They're New England, Panama Canal, Panama Canal. Uh, I don't want to manually have to upgrade all these. But it looks like I'm probably gonna have to. And of course, I will be doing more research on how the best way to do the naval meta from here on out. Because actually, it was so easy if you just made a certain number of ships, certain, certain type of ships, certain number of ships, and that's all you had to do. Go ahead and upgrade these guys, I mean, whatever. Oh wait, we're going super slow, we want to go a little faster than this. Build more ships, I don't really care where they go. We are trying to build, oh, we've got 203? There was 202 earlier, factories. Huh. We definitely need more guns. Oh, air wings. I've completely neglected the air wings. Oh my good lord. Oh, we're going to have to redo all this. Light bombers. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Oh, we can also grind pilot exercises. That's really cool. Slowly adding in more things for the Air Force as well. Like, was it Waking the Tiger? You could have wings follow specific armies. So they are slowly adding in more and more, uh, actually, you know what, let's go with 100 first, more things. Oh, continue the new deal, very nice. Doing more and more things with uh, the Air Force, which is, I, which is what I think is really awesome. Alright, very good, and then, yeah, we'll do that. So all of you guys, we'll do air security, da da da, interception, naval, naval. And gain experience on this air wing as well as air experience will consume fuel and increase the risk of air accidents while running. That's fine. Alright, so I know I'm, I'm spending a lot of time exploring all this, which I sh maybe should have done earlier, but that's okay. We're going to go with the WPA so we can get to this next research slot. Fuel, uh, what we want to do... Oh, wow. There's a lot of guys here. Uh, we want to go with someone who can give us... Oh, rubber tapped. He can give us more political power. That'll be good. So we, the more political power we have... Remilitarization of the Rhineland. We can do more things with our lobbying efforts and stuff like that. We can grant statehood to Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico. Ha! We'll never give Puerto Rico statehood. 
Uh, let's see, anything else? Electronic manufacturing. Uh, just get more research speed. That would be great. Uh, we have less factories. I think that's because of the dockyards currently. You know what? I don't know. Just, 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 just do that. Just go grind out, alright? Be good people. Let's suck to you guys. Oh, you're already trying to upgrade yourselves and stuff. Early heavy ship hull. Everyone should probably get become a little better. Uh, let's see. Old spear tactician. South. Oh, you're in the South China Sea. What are you doing in the China? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, we're in the Philippines. All right. Senator votes for government proposal. Uh, while the issue itself was fairly minor, the public vote for the support was previously outspoken critic of FDR has raised many eyebrows around Washington. Yeah, I don't know about politics working like this, but you know what? I'm not a politician. I'm just a Hoi 4 gamer and a little bit of a Civ gamer as well. Wow, we already have 87. Only 1936. I almost hit 1836. But let's see what happens. You are grinding. You should all be grinding. Grinding, and how is this fleet looking? This is the pride of our fleet. Literally the pride of our fleet. Refitting 17 ships... I just want to make, like, the biggest, boldest, most badass battleship and carrier possible. Because look at this. this. This is a converted battleship. A few planes on here. Oh, they got... Oh, that's not good. Second, London Naval, Naval Treaty signed. Uh, which restricted the number and size of cruisers and submarines. Turned quite heated over Italy's war in Ethiopia, and Japan's desire to be seen as equal to the Britain and the United States. All right, well, whatever. History, terrain. Oh, these ships. Oh. <laughs> House hearings into presidential misconduct. A witch hunt. Uh, let's see. Fjords and archipelagos. Shallow, sh shallow, shallow seas. Deep oceans. Hmm. Well, I'm... Oh, God, this meta is so going to be something new we're all going to have to learn here. All right, so I have some political power. If I do this, what will happen? Remove political power... Two senators are added to Congress, initially support the government. I could do the same thing here. We do get 0.45 a day. Medium lobbying effort will get less political power, but up to 10 senators and 50 representatives will support the government. Uh, the WPA, so we got actually quite a bit more political power, and let's go ahead and get another research slot. Now, since they're not states, is this Alaska my core? Oh! Oh, I'm still on the naval stuff. Okay. I thought... I wonder why I look weird. So, you are a colony state. Interesting. I mean, it's not like we really want to core you. You only have 67,000 people here. And in... It's not Hawaii. That's Midway. Honolulu. Hawaii has... Quite a bit more. Uh... Special measures. Up to five... We'll lose quite a bit of political power. We can't do this. For this one, we'll lose 0.3 political power. Uh, let's do that. Naval treaties, improve worker conditions. Stability is already good enough. We don't need to do anything. We can lose stability for more research speed. Huh. Mm. Coffee is great, and nation building in the Philippines will lose more political power, but the Philippines will have more stability and support democracy. Oh, God. I just. Uh, I kind of want to give refuge to German scientists. Special measures. Uh, let's do that. And actually, I'm going to see. Is there anyone else we can add for more political power? Let's give it a few days first here, guys. We have so much naval XP now. And a few, a little bit of air XP. Air XP was never a problem. N initially. I mean, I mean, as long as you sent volunteers, you were fine. But naval XP was a definite problem, though. All right, so we've got 144 political power. Wait, w we only get 0 .08 a day from scientific and... Da, 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 development. Small lobbying effort really hurt that hard. Cool, we've got two more things done. Let's get the M3 Stewart. Now I feel like I should play some World of Tanks with the M2 Light and M3 Stewart. Whatever. Oh god, I'm, a, I'm such a rambler. Uh, let's get this one done as well. Cool. Uh, Nationalist Spain declared war on Spain. I don't think I can do anything from that. Withdraw from the naval treaties. The Spanish Civil War, whatever. Uh, is there anything I can do here? Victory through air power. Takes your destruction. Hmm. Factory output plus 5%. That's not bad. General Electric. 
down here, financial. Oh, we get more consumer goods, which actually could support, which could actually really help in the beginning here. Uh, editor, more political power. Reach out to the Wear Group, America First. Uh, God, I don't, I really don't know. I do want more support from the senators and whatnot, because that does affect our foci and what we can do. Oh, see, for limited intervention, we need at least 58 senators and 261 representatives. If we do that, that'll hurt our stability quite a bit, actually. Limited intervention and change our economy to civilian economy. Passing this law will make it significantly harder to mobilize your economy. Uh, Union Representation Act. Triple Majority. Modify the government. Okay, so who can we actually choose down here? Democratic reformer. A passionate gentleman. I, I kind of want more consumer goods. War industrialist. Ugh. I really want more industrial consumer goods. But is there anything better? I like how this gives you a positive buff now instead of negative buff, so you get like more research speed instead of less research speed from the previous uh, patch, I suppose. Uh, the material design, this is all the same. Uh, there's really nothing we could do with this. I really want more support. More conditions. <sighs> I want faster research, because in the United States we're just going to be able to research so much though already. We're trying to get out the fifth research slot, so it won't, won't really affect us. Screw it, we're making Hawaii a state. <laughs> and then, yeah, give some German scientists some refuge. So, Senator from Tennessee offers support. His approach to government with an offer support suffers from critical underinvestment, and a government initiated economic stimulus program would certainly make him reconsider his stance on certain proposed government policies. Smells of corruption. It's a very underdeveloped region. So, we get 10, 10 senators and 50 representatives? Are you kidding me? There's, each state only gets two senators. I doubt Tennessee has 50 representatives. There's not that many people in Tennessee. Small lobbying efforts. Let's roll back to point thirty one political power a day. Manage subjects, Philippines, occupy, occupy territories. Yeah, no way. You're not getting yourself back, boys. And we now have another research assault. Rubber reserves. Bonus. I love bonuses. I want to do limited intervention. Because if we do neutrality, we get a lot more political power. It's harder for us to join a faction. We'll get more support. We get less war support. But it would be very hard to pass the Lend-Lease Act. Which I do want to support my allies with the Lend-Lease Act. But I do want Arsenal Democracy. War Propaganda. This, I guess, is not very good. Focus on Asia. Office of Strategic Services. Income Tax Reform. I want to say that actually the Arsenal of Democracy is the way you should actually go. Black Chamber Operations. Neutrality Act is probably the best thing to do. That's historical. And we're trying to be historical here. We will get some more support. Yeah, we'll probably do Neutrality Act, but what is this? Suspend the persecution of communists? What? Democratic... Oh my god, Democratic Socialism. Full desegregation? Move you closer to a civil war? Uh, um... Joins US, USSR economic cooperation? Some of this seems a little... Communist. Confederacy of American States. Reintegration. What the hell is what the hell is going on? Fair Labor Standards Act? Uh screw it. We'll just do uh, Oh my god, this is so so weird. We can build a frickin' Pentagon. Uh uh, you know what, screw it. We're just gonna go with neutrality. Yeah. Alright. And we have an extra research slot. I will make this video go on just a little bit longer than normal, just because I spent so much time on the naval stuff. I'll probably keep the next couple videos a little longer than normal. Just not too much longer, but a little bit. And we can spend a lot of our naval XP. Depth charged throwers. Smoke generators. Oh my god, this is so deep. You know, one of the best things about Hoi 4 was that it was 
fairly easy to understand how to play the game. I mean, maybe initially it was a little more difficult, but once you got it, you were a master of it. Now with the naval meta, it seems a little, a little more complicated. Go ahead and, and don't show outdated stuff. Uh, whole A3. We, this is the one we upgraded already. Module slot for torpedoes. Can we get torpedoes twos? Uh, yeah, there you go. House Committee supports presidential policy. 50 representatives? Holy crap. Uh, sure, we'll put you on here. Uh, let's see. Amend the budget, so we'll get less consumer goods. Well, how are our consumer goods looking at? I've completely ignored this. We get more facts, more civilian factories to do stuff. Huh. Honestly, I think that's okay. I don't mind losing a little bit of support in... Oh, research grants. Get a few little bit more consumer goods. Grant statehood to Alaska. Uh, you know, we're already in trying to integrate Hawaii. Let's do that, and then small lobbying effort. How much political power do we get? Oh, yeah, let's not do that. Nation building in the Philippines. Oh, we have outdated equipment and production. Oh my gosh, we're not producing any of this. Wait, what's going on? Uh, we have the Olympic Games. Oh, we have oh we have no more s naval dockyards because we're trying to build everything else up. God dang it! See, this is this is the new naval meta that I'm not, I'm not that I don't understand, and that's okay. Deploy task target force to battleships battle force within the base in California. I mean, I guess everything is going to California. I mean, obviously between this episode and the next, I might rework some of this just because it's it is a little complicated operating the western seaboard. Well, battleships. Uh, oh. Uh, Ethiopia was finally annexed in 1936 of September. Repair, repair. Uh, cruiser hull. Can I upgrade you already? Can we get better anti-air? Max speed is a little bit slower. It's fine. Alright, go ahead. Uh, go ahead and repair. And we're going to tell these guys to go ahead and fix your ships. Or actually upgrade. I, I swear to God, I don't know what I'm doing. But that's okay. You're here to learn with me. Go ahead and upgrade those guys. Can I actually upgrade this to something better? Rear custom slots 1. Anti-submarine warfare. That's exactly what we have. Can't really do very much about that, so... Cool. Updated equipment is in here. What is this? just means that they are the ones who want to kill your enemies instead of just kind of escorting or something like that repairing okay cool oh so I can constantly do that I have already almost oh my god that's so much naval XP holy cow well we're down to, with our stability a little bit we have a little bit more war support uh, mechanical computing very nice it's still 1936 so we still have a lot of research we can do let me do a little bit of naval stuff here how about a uh, better depth throw chargers? Very good. And then we'll also do, we already have enough, this magnetic detonator. Naval doctrine. Oh my gosh, I guess we're already on base strike. I don't know if they reworked this, tr the naval doctrine stuff. Not exactly sure, but uh, I hope that base strike is now more balanced with all the others. I don't know. I forget which one was kind of more overpowered, but you know, it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, uh, these are all not being made just because I just told my guys to repair. Uh, 1936 carrier hull. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And we have a neutrality act, so we got way more political power. It's harder for us to join uh, a faction. We get less war support, which we already didn't have that much, but we got more support overall. Arsenal democracy. That would instantly give us... More military and naval dockyards. I kind of like that. But what is this? So we currently have enough sub congressional support to replace the Great Depression national spirit with slow recovery. So we get more political power, resource efficiency gain, recruitable population, and better consumer goods. We will, of course, get some opposition. And we can unlock pay farm subsidies. Let's do that. That sounds actually like a really good idea. And for here or something here. Uh, we can go with this. Is there anything else we can do here? I do want not Puerto Rico. War propaganda. 
I do want probably worker improved worker conditions, but I do want Italian scientists. I want as much speed for that as possible, and let's go ahead and improve our stability with that in mind. U.S. Uh, opposition suffers defeat in a sense. We get up to 10 uh, senators, and our boys will not be sent into foreign wars. FDR, you are such a freaking liar. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Research grants. I don't want any more opposition. I mean, we barely have the House. We do have a pretty good number of support from the Senate. Two-thirds of the Senate, almost. Actually, isn't that... That's literally two-thirds support. 64 out of 96, yeah. And we are building up some of our old ships to be better than before. Ooh, M3 Stewart. You can go ahead and repair M3 Stewart. Very nice. And it seems like we are pretty much ready for medium tanks. Oh, amphibious tanks as well. Jesus. What the? Oh my gosh, this meta is changing. I wonder what the next DLC will be. But, but you know, cool. that'll come in the future. Anyways, we've got to end the episode here. We've got a ton of naval XP. I totally know what I'm doing. And uh, we're do having a great time. It's still 1936. We're just kind of waiting for the world to explode. We've got so much fuel. We don't know what to do with but we need more anyways. Because we're the United States. And this, oh my god, the Civil War is almost over in Spain. Holy crap. But with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. I will see you tomorrow. Like the video if you like, like, point four. And hope you enjoyed my Civ 5 video as well. Thanks for watching.